The following story was an official selection in our 1,000 word fast fiction contest. If you enjoy reading, writing, or hearing more tales like this, head on over to coldopenstories.com. Over on the site, do check out the fan fiction and original anthologies, as well as other audiobooks and our award winning full cast audio dramas. And now, Cold Open Stories presents 20 Seconds of His Wrath, written by Thomas Throop and performed by Carrie Schultens. The psalm of reloading was nearly drowned out by the numbing roar and cacophony of squeals and scrapes, endemic to the amber-lit bowels of a war machine. Ceaseless combat had taken a toll on the crew, but their focus couldn't waver. Tigris Maxima's machine spirit was a fickle, volatile beast. The autoloader began greedily lapping up the thousands upon thousands of linked shells from a pile strewn about the floor. Kipra contorted herself back into the turret's gunner station. She wriggled in place and kissed the icon of Saint Hagar, patron of tankers, as status runes blinked one by one from ruby to emerald. Tigris Maxima was a massive Vulcan pattern Macarius heavy battle tank, a variant sporting prominent twin Vulcan mega bolters on her mantlet. The tremendous rotary cannons were typically wielded by the vicious scout titan effigies of the machine god, intended to reap a frightful toll upon troops and light vehicles. This last reload of shells granted by the Holy Throne only provided a mere 20 seconds of his wrath. Kipra's voice crackled in Captain Borisova's headset. She's been fed and is eager to kill, Mamsel. Roger. Borisova snatched televised glimpses of the green skin assault against the defense line. Increasingly desperate updates on the TAC net were followed by silence. The heavy tank made under 20 kilometers per hour in this shattered urban terrain. Her retinue of Lehman Russes did little better. Five clicks to the front, and half that to the maximum range of her guns. Thirty more seconds of impotence. They were too late to blunt the green tide. Time was an enemy that couldn't simply be blasted. Borisova watched indications of friendly units disappear one by one in the melee, and Tigris Maxima's cogitator indicated ever more orcs. Kipra called out, Max range, 15 seconds! Borisova began a silent count in her head. Her bile rose, watching an officer cast green skin sporting massive metal jaws savage the 78th and fell grenadiers. A tone from the cogitator indicated that killing time had come. Borisova betrayed no emotion. Gunna, begin with the large one. <laughs> Knob Gark Gutripper idly picked at his metal teeth with an Umi battle standard, supervising his lads finishing wounded guardsmen. A chopper boy to his side was dismembering a flailing servitor. Then, instinct aroused in the orc's atrophied brain. Without pausing his cruelty, he craned his piggish head, beady red eyes squinting in the distance. The orc's scarred face erupted into a rictus of yellowed tusks. Boss! He grunted excitedly. When no acknowledgement came from the knob, the orc punched Gark in his jaw, sending the flagpole clattering across the ferrocrete. Gark's massive hand lifted the chopper boy by his stubby neck, and he stared him down. The gasping orc was still grinning like an idiot. Boss! He croaked, gesturing vaguely north. Umi tanks! Suddenly, the world exploded in a maelstrom of grit and gristle. 
chunks rained back to the earth, and Gark sat up, unharmed, thanks to the Chapa Boy's unintentional sacrifice. The nearby lads were now nothing more than meat, but already a score more orcs, along with roaring war bikes and buggies, poured across no man's land, drawn to the destruction. High explosive tank shells landed in their midst, but they continued forward, bellowing and firing their shootas. The delayed demonic belch of the Mega Bolter keened through the air. To Gark, this was beautiful music. Lunging to his feet, he asserted his leadership over the lads with a mighty war cry, determined to either loot that epitome of Daka or die trying. Nineteen seconds of ammunition remained. A pack of orcs on ramshackle buggies rapidly closed the distance, bobbing and weaving around and through the charred remnants of a train station. Witnessing a few crash into each other and explode didn't amuse Borisova. Gunner, traverse pattern Alpha Delta on the designated vehicles. Fire! Tigris Maxima's turret oscillated from side to side, unleashing three long seconds of fire. The buggies simply ceased to be. The foremost Lemon Roos spat comparatively pathetic Sponson bolter fire at the advancing orcs. A rocket from above struck the tank's thin top armor, and it seized and smoked momentarily before erupting into a blowtorch. The cogitator guided Kipra's aim skyward, spraying hundreds of bolts at Storm Boys aloft. Fifteen seconds of ammunition remained. A rocket impacted on Tigris Maxima's hull, enraging the machine spirit. It wrestled control from Kipra and engaged at will. Fourteen seconds, a mob of orcs died. Thirteen seconds remained after dispatching greenskins atop hideous orcish beasts. Twelve seconds, eleven seconds, more and more death. Kipra ritually repeated the mantra of reset, and automatic fire suddenly disengaged. Faintly glowing mega bolter barrels ticked to a stop, wisping smoke. Ten seconds of his wrath remained. Orc hooligans clamored on top of another lemon ruse, bashing bits and attempting to pry open the cupola. A blizzard of sparks flew when Tigris Maxima sanitized its companion with Mega Bolter fire. Nine seconds remained. Fire for effect, Borisova ordered. The Emperor guide your hand. More and more orcs died. Eight seconds, seven seconds, six seconds. Another Lehman Rus exploded. Tigris Maxima suffered a massive track hit and ground to a halt, unable to reverse. Five seconds. Borisova surveyed the battle with her periscope. The orc leader was nowhere to be seen, but the greenskins still kept coming. Four seconds. Three seconds. Ammunition critical, Mamsel! Kipra announced. Two seconds. More charging orcs died. Gark's gift of cunning allowed him to close the distance with Tigris Maxima through a field of cathedral debris while it was distracted by the horde. Borisova witnessed him break cover and gave orders. Defensive Sponson fire glanced off Gark's garish armor while the main turret ponderously rotated in his direction. The knob cackled as he closed the distance to his prize, now, at point-blank range, the twin barrels began to spin, still coming to bear on the knob. Either it would miss, or he would die here. Tigris Maxima still possessed one second's worth of the Emperor's Wrath. <laughs>